Quite the ask, same thing. I want to keep the head on my the hair on my head, <laughs> and when you go out and run too much, you have hair challenges. Daryl Holliday's here. Hair challenges. Here. That's, that's uh, Marty Polio's here with Comedy Caravan, a, a comedian. See, both of them have hair challenges <laughs> because they run too much. We, we have, should, make some. We have hair challenges and no makeup, by the way. <laughs> that's right. Marty <laughs> asked me okay. when Marty and, walked and in. He asked use, me where the makeup was. And we use our testosterone for other things besides growing hair. So <laughs> now, now, now Jeff is standing quietly over there. Hi, Jeff. Hey, now, Jeff. Now, what, Jeff you have hair. What's what's up with your hair? <laughs> it's just coming out everywhere. I dig okay, it. we'll get back with you in a few. <laughs> what he lost on Let's the come back, <laughs> Jeff. That's quick. That's, I like what that. he lost here went here. He just that's yeah. hair. He looks like Chris it. Caswell or fashion. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Jeff and I have conflicting hairstyles. We have similar styles of comedy. Actually, you guys have a variety of hairstyles. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly the opposite. Where hairstyle. one has, the other one has not. Mm -hmm. Marty, you're from Louisville, but you travel, uh, perform different places. Uh, tell me a little <laughs> bit about yourself as a comedian and. What, what, what are people going to hear when they Marty's come? Marty's a cool dude. Tell them. Uh, You're well, a cool I've, dude. I've been doing it forever. I've done a bunch of network TV shows and all that. I lived in L.A. for a long time, and I'm back here being a parent um, and, uh, and, uh, and a caretaker to my funny. mom. There's nothing funny there, by the way. But, well, good for uh, you. Good for you. Yes, that's, yeah. that is. Now, I cool. hear through the grapevine that we have a, an actress, in, 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 a future <laughs> right, actress right here. Tell us a little bit about your experience working with Julie. And this uh, is how Marty and I met. Well, uh, I let me see. Someone uh, told me about you. Uh -huh. I called you, and you returned my calls. And so eventually, you returned so many calls that I said, "Well, just take the lead role." <laughs> right. We we kept going back and forth. We couldn't sync our schedules. Now I did wind up reading for the part. For what was Marie. the role? What was the What was the movie? Was it the? Oh, the, it was uh, a little short film that we did. That uh, was uh, it was written by somebody else, and it was uh, just a kind of a goofy little. It's going to be an online movie. It's about a guy who's online too much. Yeah, and and Julie is a, um, a potential mate that they met online. See, He's see, the see. Guy. No, but He's there's other people guy. trying can to look we, her can up. Can we tell him the interesting uh, yeah, part? Yeah, I don't of care. It? Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I play sort of like a fembot. I'm a robot. We're in this society where half the people are robots, but what, it's hard well, to Well, that's good for Daryl because Daryl, you're half robot too. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I mean, I just I knew this all the time. You know, <laughs> the body is too perfect to be just. Now. Oh, Let's I'm talk a, I'm about comedy now. caravan. <laughs> We're going to talk about the big main acts, but there's so much going on down there. Anniversaries, birthdays. You can have some great events there. Yeah, yeah we've got three fundraisers going on tonight alone. Oh, wow. And uh, so we have the fundraisers. We have the the jazz. The different. We just signed up the new uh, Market Street Stompers that are going to start appearing on Monday nights as well. Oh, is that like a step? No, What's this is actually an old jazz group. Oh, it's a jazz group. Jazz okay. group. Well, why are they called the Stompers? I don't know. They I'm just. They stomp while just, they play. They named themselves. I didn't name them. <laughs> The Stompers as well. West I, I wasn't paying like, attention. <laughs> I love that Marty said he's honest. He's like, I wasn't <laughs> listening. Well, <laughs> well, I tell you what, I can tell you, Marty will. Uh, he, he, he gets up there. On, he gets up there on stage, and uh, Marty you know, is like a one-man show. Yeah. He's a comic. He's a mime. He's a juggler. Uh, I tell him, I, it reminds me of Red Skelton. I mean, the way that he used yeah, to. Yeah, we don't just say a, mime all anymore, around. Though, I'm sorry. Is there a that's new like term? You, just, you no. don't say it. You just go. Yeah. No, we say uh, physical comedy. We, oh. We use anything we can to go, you know, uh, physical theater. Now, what's uh, wrong with mime? Is that like well, the mime doesn't stigma. talk, so you can't say mime. Well, you know what we're not doing? We're sitting here doing all this talking. And Jeff is and just Jeff standing over there, there, there all by himself with his small semi mohawk cut. Jeff's actually going to be leading. Faux -hawk. Oh, it's a faux hawk. Jeff. Jeff is performing this week, <laughs> yes, and Marty's performing. Marty's yes. performing. He's the headliner. Uh, Jeff's uh, going to be on stage just before him. And uh, Jeff, you want to give us a little bit of. Take uh, it away, Jeff. What saying? Yeah, hey, uh, Go. you mentioned the haircut. I Yesterday, I went to the Great Clips. I walked in. The lady uh, was like, what can I give you? I said, can you make me look like a six-year-old white trash kid at the State Fair? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. She is good at what she does. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Oh, look at that top right there. Look at that top. You can land a plane on that thing. I uh, had to mow my grass yesterday, as a lot of uh, people do. Uh, a lot of people try to make it interesting, make it look like a baseball infield, uh, maybe a putting green. Yesterday, I did Van Gogh's Starry Night. <laughs> took me 14 hours. Was that a rim shot? That was unexpected. Uh, That's impressive. I've recently, uh, recently started taking breakdancing lessons uh, online. Oh. I uh, don't mean to brag, I am the best guy in my living room, so that's uh, <laughs> fantastic. Yesterday, I uh, did the windmill, knocked my kid out for three hours, so that got the uh, peace and quiet going. Uh, uh, took Can my kid last week to the public pool. 
That was a mistake. Uh, there were three guys there, uh, no shirts, uh, swim trunks like would be normal at the pool, and uh, duct tape wrapped from their ankle to their knee. And they aren't even together, just three random people like this. And I asked the lifeguard, I was like, why do they have duct tape on their ankle? And she's like, oh, that's to keep their home detention monitors waterproof. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, but shouldn't they be at home? <laughs> the one guy has the word murder tattooed across his stomach. <laughs> My son's like, Daddy, what's that say? I'm like, it says we're swimming at the other end of the pool. That's what that says. <laughs> well, come out, check out me and Marty Polio. Woo! All right, all right, let's show it to you. It's Marty and Jeff. Jeff's from Indianapolis. Marty's from Louisville via LA and Puerto Rico and other places. Also, you got Lindsay M. Singing. You'll see Daryl Holliday out there. Daryl, tickets just $8. Tickets are just $8 uh, Thursday and Sunday and $12 Friday and Saturday. Done. And don't forget, too, on Friday and Saturday nights now, we've started the uh, all-you-can-eat all Italian oh. buffet by Ramsey. So, Ramsey's uh, 21 95 you get dinner and the show. Can't beat it anywhere Cannot else. Beat that. Yeah, you so. can go out there, fundraising events, have a good time. Now, Marty, i got to ask you, I think that's, I heard you were going to go play Atlanta, but you're coming back here just for the buffet. Is that what it's all about? <laughs> you're just playing Louisville for the buffet? I don't get it. <laughs> Don't we get that's funny. That is why Craig is not at Comedy Chair. Uh, this is early. Yeah, this I is thought, early for me. I am pushing the buffet. Marty is so I am pushing the buffet. Honest. Like, the buffet is what? What are you guys talking about? Food. All right. All right. All right. I food? need to pay attention. All right. Okay. I guess we understand that now. But um, I thought we were going to get a vote on the U of L UK thing. Oh, 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 oh you get your vote. Go ahead. I'll let you go first. You know, everybody thinks U of K. I just think for Julie and I, it's going to be all the sweeter when U of L pulls this out. He wrote my book. You love your Bob Newhart. That's U of L needs those red armbands because they need to wrap them around the ankles of the U of K players because that's the only way. Oh, oh. Yeah. hey, you want free tickets? Marty, I'm with you. You want to go see Marty? You want to see uh, anybody out there? You guys. Hey, Daryl, that's Daryl with an E. Daryl at ComedyCaravan.com. Daryl at ComedyCaravan.com. Email him. You're going to get two <laughs> free tickets, but here's what you got to do. Say something nice about Marty. <laughs> Just say something nice. Say, we love Marty. Marty's really cool. Him. Name, really address, and phone number. Talk about Marty. Daryl will pick <laughs> out the winner, and you're going to go to the Comedy Caravan and eat that free buffet. By the way, Julie was fantastic in our little film. Oh, Anybody thank can search you. for it online. It's called Bots. Oh, and it, is, it, oh it's, it's already out up, there? It's not up yet. It'll okay. be in a, so, probably a few days. Or well, a maybe, Daryl, you can bring Marty back again sometime, and um, we'll show him a little clip of it. This isn't an X-ray. She does Shakespeare, no. too. She okay. does Shakespeare, you know that? You does Shakespeare. I just dabble. Excellent. On the she movie? Really no, not in the movie. I hear you did the reading, like, in the parking lot. Comedy Caravan, we'll be back. Don't we'll go away. <laughs>